Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Miguel Salehi, and I'm a bartender based in San Francisco. So like a lot of you, uh, I've been spending a lot more time at home this year. Uh, because of that, I've also making a lot more drinks at home this year. So today I just want to show you uh, a few really easy cocktail recipes that you can make this holiday season. Uh, and hopefully you'll have a lot of these ingredients kind of already laying around uh, the pantry or in the fridge. The idea is simplicity, um, but still kind of trying to get a little bit of a holiday vibe. So the first drink I'm gonna make for you guys today is gonna be a vermouth highball. Uh, the main ingredient here is going to be Noli Pratt dry vermouth. I love Noli Pratt. Um, this is a vermouth made in the south of France. Uh, it definitely has a really pronounced citrus note. And again, even though it's a dry vermouth, it has a lot of weight and body to it, which is great for cocktails. You absolutely need that. So for this drink, uh, we're going to add two ounces. So to pair with that Noli Pratt dry vermouth, I'm going to be adding a little bit of Benedictine. This is an herbal liqueur that I had on hand already. It's used in a few classic cocktails. So we're gonna do a half an ounce here. This is gonna add some sweetness, um, but also again, some body and some texture to the cocktail. We're also gonna add like about, like a really shy quarter ounce, just a little bit of lemon juice, just to bring up the acidity, okay? Now we're gonna incorporate some ingredients that are gonna take this um, to that kind of like seasonal, kind of wintry um, vibe. So I'm gonna grab some Angostura bitters and we're just gonna add like three dashes. I'm gonna top that with some soda water. Perfect. And then again, kind of bringing that wintry vibe, we're gonna garnish this with a little bit of rosemary. And there you go. So you have a beautiful dry vermouth highball um, really light, really refreshing, easy, um, but you're bringing some of those winter characteristics with the bitters and with the rosemary. All right, guys, so the next cocktail we're gonna make is called a penicillin. This is a modern classic that every bartender knows and loves. Um, the flavors in here are just so classic. Um, it's a scotch-based cocktail um, with a lot of ginger, honey, and lemon, and that just sounds so comforting um, and just perfect for the holiday season. So we're gonna start this cocktail with just a little bit of ginger that I've sliced into little pieces here. If you're making a lot of these, I'd recommend making a ginger syrup, but if you're making just one or two, just go ahead and smash it up with a muddler. All right, that should be good. All right, so the ginger is nice and smashed up. Beautiful aroma coming from that. We're gonna add now a little bit of a honey syrup. This is three parts honey, one part water. This took me about two minutes to make, okay? We're gonna balance that out with three quarters ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay. So to finish this drink off, the main ingredient is gonna be Dewar's 15. You can use whatever kind of blended whiskey you like, but I think Dewar's 15 works really well here. Um, in this bottle, we're talking 40 different grain and malt whiskeys that have been blended together masterfully um, by Stephanie McLeod. Something really unique about this whiskey is that um, after the whiskeys are blended together, and again, at least 15 years old, they're gonna go through a secondary aging process to really make sure that all those flavors really come together. It's really gonna contribute to the kind of roundness and uh, kind of beautiful texture of this whiskey. So we're gonna go with two ounces here. We're gonna get ready to shake here. So I'm gonna come down at an angle, I'm gonna press down, and I'm gonna give it a nice hard shake. Uh, should be good. I'm gonna strain that bit out there. I'm gonna take a Hawthorne strainer and a fine mesh strainer and just go in here. And then just to finish this cocktail, we're gonna add a little bit of a peated whiskey on top. That's gonna add a really nice kind of smoky aroma, kind of a little bit of salty flavor, a little bit of leather, and it's gonna go really well with the honey and ginger and the doers. Yeah, that's really good. That's a penicillin. 
Okay guys, so the last drink I'm gonna make for you tonight is called the Patron Saint. This can definitely be considered more of like a dessert style cocktail or like a nightcap. Uh, it goes really well with uh, some kind of dessert, so it's a great way to finish the night. For example, I have some Trifoli chocolates here. This is a small company. The chocolate is ethically sourced and kind of like Caribbean inspired. So it's gonna go really well with this Venezuelan rum. So the main ingredient in this cocktail is gonna be Santa Teresa 1796. This is a rum that I always have on hand. And I think it's just a great example of a Spanish style rum that's been heavily aged, uh, in this case through a Solera process. So let's start off this cocktail with two ounces of Santa Teresa 1796. All right, so that's in there. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of Amaro Nonino. This is a bitter orange liqueur. Let's do a half ounce. Okay, easy. And then just to finish here, I have some coffee bitters made by Santa Teresa, but if you can't find these, any type of coffee bitters will work really well here. So maybe like two or three dashes. Cool. All right, so the drink is pretty much done at this point. We're just gonna stir it up. So the idea here is that we're just trying to like chill this cocktail down. We're trying to dilute it. We're trying to blend those kind of flavors together. All right, so that should be good. And we're gonna take a julep strainer and just strain this into the glass. And then we're just gonna finish that with a little bit of a lemon zest. A little bit of lemon oil on top is gonna really kind of like brighten it up. Express that oil over the top, twist it, and drop it. And that is the patron saint. Yeah, that's so good. Cool. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have some fun making some drinks at home. Uh, stay safe and happy holidays.